after we start the airplane, this is very similar to what we should see. Checklist is here, uh, and we're in the initialization mode. Now, somewhere in my checklist, it's going to ask me to check my messages and my alerts. And if I tap on that, this initialization screen goes away. Now, if I just hit back, it comes back. But if I forget and I hit home and it's gone, I go to utilities and initialization. That'll happen to you from time to time when, for one reason or another, you make that screen go away. So how we get there again is utilities and initialization. It's very jet-like in what Cirrus has us doing here. So we're going to look at our databases. Main one is navigation. We'd like that date to be in the future, so our nav data is good. Next, a couple of splash screens for our own benefit and those of our, our passengers. In uh, we want to take our time and review these. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on them here. But yeah, it's a normal category airplane, day, night, VFR, IFR. Another splash screen on how we can brief our passengers. If they've never had a briefing in a series before, this should take a little bit of time. You want to cover the level button, the caps function, the seatbelt operation, various items. Then the I'm safe checklist. So we do go through that. I don't verbalize it for all of my passengers all the time, but I do run through that and make sure that I'm, I feel like I'm up to the, the flight at hand. Knowledge, and okay, there's a little bit of discontinuity here where I hit next or I acknowledge or whatever. Once I run out of those splash screen screens, it's next. And then a fuel on board sync, if we've added any fuel or if there's any inaccuracies, the gauges are very accurate in these airplanes. So I can either tell it how much fuel to put in or I can tell it to sync to what it thinks it has on the Fuel on board sink. Nice. Next. Uh, we're going to do aircraft loading. That's uh, where we sit. And it's based on 175 pound pilot, a 210 pound co pilot, 185 in the back seat, and 50 pounds of baggage. So in an SR 22, we've got a lot more we could put in. Let's edit that. I'm going to change the pilot here. Uh, my pilot had a big launch. Pilot weighs 185. And that barely moved our screen there, but it did change it. Okay. Next, add destination. Oh, where am I going to? K R O G. Rogers Executive. Rogers Executive is in Magenta. Direct Riverside to Rogers. We've got a Magenta line. We like that. That's good. Next. We are leaving on runway one left, so I'm going to select my runway. One left. Takeoff config is always 50% flaps. And I'm going to go back to runway. I forgot to do that. Put in my runway required, which is calculated for me here. It's going to be 1,316 feet to clear a 50 foot obstacle. So 13, 16. And just as a double check, I think it's a good idea to make sure that this number is bigger than this number. All right, initialization. Did we get everything? We did. So initialization is complete. Go back home, carry on with our checklists.